Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam, and today we're doing our experiment outside because even though today's experiment is really simple and always fun, it does tend to get a little messy, so outside is a little bit better. The good thing is, all you'll need is baking soda and vinegar. Now, as we know, when you combine baking soda and vinegar, even if it's not a lot of either one, you get a fun and fizzy reaction. Woo, look at that. That's why we are outside. So we always get a really fun reaction with baking soda and vinegar. But if you have just a few more simple ingredients, you can do even more than just create these fun and crazy reactions. One fun thing that you can do with baking soda and vinegar is take a glove, fill it just a little bit with baking soda, and then put it over a container of vinegar, hold it tight at the bottom, and then shake in the vinegar and see what happens. With that, you get a self-inflating glove. Wave hi! Now, if you want a really explosive experiment, take an empty water bottle, tape four pencils on it with the erasers facing up, fill it partway with vinegar, and then get some baking soda, roll it into a little piece of paper towel, put it inside, shake it up, turn it around, and see what happens. So as you could probably tell, I wasn't expecting it to be as big of an explosion as that. I think we'll call that our chemistry rocket. The bottle actually bounced off the top of the patio that I'm under right now, and it scared me a little bit, but it's a lot of fun. So why is it that when we combine baking soda and vinegar, it bubbles, fizzes, and even explodes? It's because of what is called an acid-base reaction. When the vinegar and the baking soda combine, they create something called carbonic acid. But that carbonic acid quickly breaks into carbon dioxide gas and water. And the carbon dioxide gas escapes really quickly into the air. So if there's nowhere to go, for example, if it's in a film canister or in a water bottle, there can be an explosion, which is what you saw. Two really simple things combining to create a lot of pressure and then an explosion as the carbon dioxide gas gets free. Did you know that just like the carbon dioxide gas was freed from the water, that you and I can experience freedom too? Sometimes we get stuck in things like sadness or loneliness, and life can get really, really hard and really heavy when we experience that. All the pressure can build up inside of us, just like you saw the pressure building up inside the water bottle. But in the book of John chapter 8, it tells us that if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed and Jesus is the Son of God. When we ask Jesus into our hearts, He can help us to get free from that sadness, from that loneliness, maybe from anger, from all those things that make life really hard. It doesn't mean that bad things won't happen to us, but just like the carbon dioxide gas was freed into the atmosphere, you and I can be freed into living a life of joy and peace with Jesus, even if things are still different and still hard in our lives. So let's invite Jesus into our hearts today.